It is the president's business to drum up business from potential investors abroad and convince them to set up shop in the country, as well as assure them of growth and good returns on the money they put in. A business pitch he has practically mastered from all those foreign trips under his belt. And on his return home, close to $300 million in promises and pledges have been secured for the country's economic growth, as our Kenneth Pacente reports. Following the just-concluded state visit of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. in Malaysia, the Philippines got an investment commitment worth 285 million U.S. dollars, covering different sectors like the food processing industry, manufacturing and infrastructure, among others. According to the chief executive, this is a valuable contribution to the economic growth of the Philippines. At the Philippine Business Forum in Kuala Lumpur earlier, the president laid out the steps being taken by the government to turn the Philippines into a promising investment hub, citing the green lane to make processes easier for potential investors, as well as the cooperation between the executive and legislative departments, which passed key landmark legislations like the Foreign Investment Act, Public Services Act, and others. The chief executive also stressed that the Philippines is a strategic location that's very suitable for investment and has a more friendly corporate taxes for investors. With a lower tax rate and improved mechanism for tax and duties incentives, we continue to seek, seek ways to facilitate and expedite investments. Earlier, the president attended a series of business meetings and said that they were productive. The engagement with Malaysian companies and business leaders this morning yielded very interesting and uh, what I believe will provide, uh, have a potential for mutual beneficial outcomes for both Malaysian and Philippine companies. The current administration is also focused on growing the country's economy. That's why it continues to strengthen partnership with other countries in ASEAN, like Malaysia, to entice possible investors. We are committed and continue, will continue to commit our support to Malaysian investors. I thank you for your interest and your confidence, and I look forward to the Malaysian business community coming to the Philippines. Kenneth Pashente for the Nation.